Finland is currently in the process of replacing its fleet of Boeing FA-18 C and D Hornet aircraft in a program known as HX. First launched in 2015, the program involved a request for proposals sent to the US, UK, French and Swedish governments for a new platform, weapons, sensors and training that would be procured through a government-to-government -government agreement. Under the HX program, the new platform will be selected in 2021, with the new aircraft to reach full operational capability in 2030. The request for quotations, issued in 2018, involved seven scenarios for the aircraft and their weapon systems, with bidders answering 2,500 questions related to the aircraft and systems being proposed. One of the two US platforms requested by the Finnish government is the Lockheed Martin F-35. The F-35 has increased its presence in Europe in recent years following the selection of the platform by Denmark and Belgium and is beginning to enter service with a variety of NATO operators in Europe, including Norway, the UK and Italy. Lockheed Martin has been keen to emphasise the fifth generation capabilities of the aircraft, particularly in areas such as data fusion, that can give the aircraft an edge over adversaries. Challenges such as cold weather operations have been tested for, with the aircraft undergoing extensive climactic testing at a specially designed facility in Florida, as well as winter testing in Alaska. The wide user base of the F-35 may also prove to be attractive to Finland, which is seeking to use the HX platform through to 2060 and beyond. Boeing is approaching the competition as the incumbent and has a significant amount of experience in working with the Finnish Air Force on their concept of operations through the country's operation of the FA-18 C and D Hornets, as well as with Finnish industry. The company is bidding the Block 3 Super Hornet, which features conformal fuel tanks for extended range and flight time, an advanced cockpit system featuring touchscreen displays and a longer life airframe. Boeing also submitted the EA-18G Growler electronic attack aircraft as part of its bid for the program, with the US government giving its approval for a potential Finnish acquisition of aircraft in February. Should the company win the HX bid, Finland would be the third operator of the platform and the second international one after the Royal Australian Air Force. Electronic attack and suppression of enemy air defences has been a key aspect of the HX bidder's proposals and is a particularly notable challenge for Finland given the operating environment the country faces. BAE Systems is leading the Eurofighter Consortium's efforts for the HX program, bringing together BAE Systems, Leonardo and Airbus. The Tranche 4 Typhoon is being offered with a weapons fit-out that can include the Spear and Joint Strike Missile Air-to-Service Missiles and MBDA Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, with the aircraft equipped with the Capital E Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar. The company has been ably supported by both industry and the air forces of the UK and Germany as part of its efforts to secure the HX program. Key to the Typhoon has been the planned evolutionary development of the aircraft into the future, as well as its existing operations in the Baltic air policing role, as well as in combat operations in the Middle East. For its part, BAE Systems has also said that it would potentially establish a final assembly and checkout or FACO facility in Finland, with the established FACO facility then serving as a base for support, maintenance and potential upgrade work over the lifetime of the aircraft. Sweden Saab is proposing the E and F models of its Gripen aircraft, which was first rolled out in 2016. The Swedish and Brazilian air forces are both customers for the aircraft, with Saab submitting a proposal for 64 aircraft to Finland at the end of January 2019. As part of the company's engagement with Finland and Finnish industry, the potential for continuous development of the aircraft is an option, with Saab potentially creating a Gripen Systems Development Centre in the country. This would build on from the Electronic Warfare Saab Technology Centre that was established in the Finnish city of Tampere in 2018. A Gripen-specific centre could potentially involve the operator and industry collaborating in a closed-loop work with the continuous development for tactical fighters, specifically for the Finnish Air Force. The company has also proposed local production and maintenance in Finland as part of its package, however the detailed approach and content is to be agreed together with Finland during the coming phases of the process. DASO has remained very tight-lipped regarding its bid for the HX program. If Finland were to select the aircraft to fulfil its requirement, it would make the country the second European nation to operate the aircraft and only the fifth country to have selected the aircraft overall. 
current customers for the Rafale include the French Air Force and Navy, as well as the Qatari Amiri Air Force, Egyptian Air Force and Indian Air Force. In January, Dassault sent a Rafale to northern Finland for winter testing in an exercise unrelated to the company's HX bid, with the Finnish Air Force hosting the aircraft at the Rovaniemi Air Force Base. For more information on the HX program, including interviews with key participants in Finland and beyond, be sure to read the 27 March edition of Jane's Defence Weekly.